dear friends in this session we are going to check uh, the given two dimensional discrete random variable x and y are independent or not so whenever there is a discrete random variable kind of things in table we have to always go for row sum and column sum before that as i said in the previous video check the value of x and y here x is given as given in the top so these are all my y values that is 1 3 5 are my y values and my x values are in the row 2 4 so when you do the row sum we have to take it as marginal function for x when you go for column sum it is going to be our y so we can see the table row sum and column sum from this i can able to write the marginal distribution function for x and y very easily so now once this is done we are going to check for each and every value of x y whether it is satisfying the condition so probability of x i comma y j it's equal to probability of x x i into probability of y y j if this condition is satisfied for all the values in the table then i conclude x and y are independent even if one value one set of value is violating the rule then i will say x and y are dependent so now let us take from the rhs px of 2 i am fixing this to px of 2 now for the fixed value of 2 we are going to apply the value of y now let us calculate the values 4 by 10 5 by 20 4 by 10 5 by 10 4 by 10 5 by 20 so it is going to be 1 by 10 2 by 10 and 1 by 10 now let us check the data with the table values so 2 comma 1 2 comma 1 is 1 by 10 2 comma 3 is 2 by 10 2 comma 5 is 1 by 10 so this is going to be probability of 2 comma 1 probability of 2 comma 3 probability of 2 comma 5 similarly now we have to calculate the values for x equal to 4 only the values of x will change here so it is going to be 12 by 20 12 by 20 12 by 20 now by computing the values will be getting 3 by 20 3 by 10 and 3 by 20 now again for a fixed value of 4 4 comma 1 is 3 by 20 4 comma 3 is 3 by 10 4 comma 5 is 3 by 20 so this is going to be 4 comma 1 4 comma 3 4 comma 5 so for all the values in the table the condition satisfies so now we can conclude x and y are independent as i said earlier even if one value is not satisfied then we declare that x and y are dependent thanks for your patience in watching